first expert on Hungry Box's play style. Oh, all right, all right. So with your expertise and Hungry Box's game style, how do you think he's going to play up against Peach specifically? Peach is going to be very tough. Uh, the way that HBox likes to play is he likes to go for very risky plays. He loves his drill rests. He loves just that kind of stuff in general. And against a player as safe, as cautious, and as good as Razo, he is going to have a little bit of trouble getting in against that. But should he get in, it should be big damage for him, and it could very well lead to a kill. Right. I feel like Pups, one of main their main advantages is their air-to-air -air game. Now, they are able to weave and duck and dive so much in the air that it make, keeps you guessing, like, are they going to pound? Are they? How are they going to attack me, right? But... Razo as Peach, he's going to be in the air 90% of the time along with Jigglypuff, you know? Absolutely. And with Especially with that fair, which is basically an aerial forward smash, low-key. It's so strong, it's kind of disjointed. But it's really slow is the problem. And you know what's not slow? Puff Nair and Puff Fair. Mm. So the air-to-air -air game in this matchup is going to be very tough for both of them because, right. like you mentioned, Peach does have those almost aerial smash attacks, can chase off stage with the Nair to get early kills, can get that fair at the ledge for early kills. But again, it's slow. Right. Puff, not so slow in terms of the aerial frame data. So it's just, just kind of going to be a right. dogfight, getting that air-to-air -air fight to try and make sure that Puff comes out on top. Right. HBox waving to the camera, giving a quick shout out to the fans. You know he does it for all of you. Oh yeah. And you know what, with Puff, you know, Puff's super light. You know, it's gonna be, can HBox rack up the hits in there, potentially get an edge guard before he takes too much damage with Peach. Because Peach has one of the most insane damage outputs of all of the entire cast. She gets a single grab, she gets a single down tilt. Raza will take you to 60 or 70. It's just, well, how much is he gonna take it beyond that point? Yeah, and I mean, with those float cancels, like I've seen Raza play quite a bit with the float cancels, with the ability to just kind of put on a massive amount of damage in an extremely short amount of time, it's, it's very scary for a character like Puff because Puff is very lightweight, does die very, very early, so it very well could result in some bad, bad situations for HBox. You know, like an early turn up combo does 60 and then he dies off stage at 60. All right. That's the other thing we have to consider is that Peach does have a projectile with turn up. And, you know, we saw a lot of it with uh, Tweak and Diddy. You know, having a banana to hand, having a projectile in hand is so good for like your out of shield game. And I know if Razo ever gets a turnip, he is going to make the most out of it. And if we see any of Razo's insane luck where he gets, uh, uh, heaven forbid, a Mr. Saturn and a shield break, like... Puff just does die instantaneously. Yeah. But without further ado, we're going to be getting into the action right here on PS2. PS2 makes the best, best games. It's all we've seen so far already off the bat. Razo playing very aggressively. Here we go. Like I was saying earlier, you know, pulling out turnip, having that projectile in hand, you know, as a way to, you know, keep Puff at bay. Now getting chased by the dash attack, though. Razo doing a pretty good job of keeping his distance, knows exactly what tools he has at his disposal to get in, but really early aggressive play from HBox to close the distance. Here we go. I feel like both players are just trying not to over-approach one another. Like, they're really picking and choosing their battles very carefully because they know one missed space aerial and it could be so much damage. I'm going to make a couple of people in chat pretty mad here, but I am going to uh, compare this to Peach versus Puff in Melee because it is still technically a similar matchup where both of them do need to keep their distance, do need to, to space their approaches correctly. And speaking of spacing, HBox very nearly getting an early edge guard oh. and a very early kill with that up smash out of shield. Razo not being cautious enough and just landing right on right. top of it. I mean, you were saying it earlier, HBox goes for those high risk, high reward plays. And in this case, Raza was just not expecting that range on that up smash. Oh no, HBox, you can't be doing that. Goes for the rest out of nowhere, doesn't find it, goes down. Yep. And there's the other half of the coin flip right there, the high risk, high reward. Oh. But there's the Nair, not going to be enough. But No, it is going to be. No, it's not. Oh. Okay, for a second, for a split second, I thought Raza was just a little bit too low, wasn't going to be able to make it back to the ledge, but the Peach Float does do enough to get him back. And you know what? one of the most interesting things I found about this matchup is that Peach's combos, like because Puff is so floaty, she's not able to get all the, like, the fast string combos off of like singular hits. Good parry from HBox on the shield flicker and going for not a very common move right there with the rollout. Razo, of course, using Peach's float to just stay above the action. Landing with Nair though, and he goes for the same thing that took him the first stock. Doesn't find it this time, however. All right, here we go. We can see Razo kind of, you know, being shaken a little bit, seeing how like Hungrybox is a very unorthodox 
uh, Puff player, especially in Ultimate. But, oh my god, all these smash attacks, you know, keeps Razo guessing. Speaking of really good options there, Razo chasing into the air with the Nair, tries to get the back air there as well, not able to find it, goes for the dare. And wow, Hbox really wants this up smash out of shield. Here we go, both players at kill percent, you know, oh my god, that could have been so bad for either of them right there. Keeping the space separate though, staying safe, throwing up the turn up in the air to restrict Hbox's approach options as well is very, very smart. And the back air is going to kill, it was looking like right. Hbox might be able to DI out of it, but no. Unfortunately for him, not going to be able to do so. Right. And there's that thing you were mentioning, oh. the Sailor Saturn is in play, or not the Sailor Saturn, the Mr. Saturn. Yeah. And you know what? It is so scary. And we saw Hbox, you know, taking it into his own hands, trying to get a shield break. And we know if <laughs> he gets... Oh, my oh! God! Hbox, you madman, trying to parry there Sailor we go. Saturn. But lightning oh. doesn't strike twice. Gets caught by it the second time. And he's not very happy about this one. He's just like, I swear to God, I didn't press shield. I swear to God, I didn't mean to block it. Is it? Is it like, a, are we going to get an Apex situation if someone tells him not to push shield? Oh. Oh my god, that is just such a terrifying situation if you're a pop. And I mean, it's it's almost like Chekhov's gun. Like, you mentioned it at the very start of the set that Mr. Saturn was going to be a big threat to him. Razo pulling it out there and getting the kill off of it. I mean, people, like, always say that, like, sometimes, like, you choose your character, and sometimes the character chooses you. I feel like if you're a Peach player, especially one of Razo's caliber, you are pulling a Saturn. You are pulling so, a bomb bomb at some point in the set. There there was a crew battle that I commentated. It was a Mexican crew battle that I casted with Meister one time. Mm. And one of the players in it was named Lady Luck, and she was a Peach player. And true to her name, I watched Lady Luck pull three dot eyes, two stitch faces. What's up? Can we, no, we cannot lag test Hbox. Uh, we're not doing that here. But so I watched Lady Luck pull two Mr. Saturns, three Dot Eyes, and two Stitch Faces all in the course of three stocks. Oh my I Lord. was like, are you cheating? Are you OK? Yeah. It's like when you see a Luigi main just go for side Bs, knowing, almost feeling it in their gut and soul that they're going to get that misfire. That's or the, or the elegant Game & Watch going for the nine, right? Rosso's just like, if I pull enough turnips, eventually one of them is going to be something. But we are going to be getting into game number two here. Razo, of course, going up 1-0 thanks to the Mr. Saturn. Going into it starting yet again, Hbox picking the Smashville, an interesting choice for this. And you know what? We were talking about shield breaks, but you now Puff does have one of their own in the form of Pound. So, ooh, almost going to be enough to kill. Not quite. This and could be very dam damaging, though, with Razo getting the punish out of the rest. 38%, nothing to sneeze at, but right. much more on her right now. Right. And I feel like that was probably the most that he could get because Puff is so floaty. And something that not a lot of people talk about is, like, sure, there's all the memes about Hbox DI, right? But Hbox has been a melee player for the longest time, so if you've seen it, his SDI is very good, being able to get out of combos like that early. And speaking of early, an early kill there, catching Razo during the float. I've seen Razo get away with you know, using high up beast so many times that it is truly amazing when you see somebody actually punish it. And look at this combo from Hbox, gets the parry too, and another parry after punishing the side B with jab. Oh my god, no, Hbox looking for the jab off of the drill, but gets hit by the fair, gonna take that stock's no, at a relatively low good percent. 52 is not a whole lot. And I think that's another Chekhov's gun right there that we talked about at the beginning of the set with the, the aerial F smash that you called it, getting an early stock there. Now Razo chasing with Nair. Not getting punished for the, the missed rest, but Hbox needs to be very careful with when and how he throws those out. I wonder if he almost wanted to use the invulnerability of the rest, knowing that he would go for the dare. Perhaps. But, it, I mean, it, it worked out. Like, Hbox wasn't really punished with, uh, for it with anything other than a Nair. Now has a slight percent deficit, 1.2%, but Razo still getting those parries, still pulling those turnips, still chasing Hbox, not letting him create the space that he wants. And we see, you know, Hbox employing a little bit of Meister tactics, going for random up smashes, you know, trying to get a parry. So the thing about Meister, I'll, I'll break it down real quick, because Meister's actually a pretty good friend of mine. People think he's just throwing out random F smashes, hoping one of them hits. And speaking of things that hit, that's going to take the stop. But when Meister throws out those F smashes, he's literally spamming a safe, almost invincible option to cover space. It's a very, very smart thing to do. Sure, it's degenerate, but it's also very, very good for a reason. I mean, if you're not getting punished for it, do it because again. Because you can't really punish yeah. him for it. Not a lot of characters have the tools to do so. Yeah. 
Catching, oh, catch, the, yeah. catching the turn up, but Raza is still holding onto his stock lead. All right. There we go. Gets the bear out of shield. Oh, tries getting the tournament, but fortunately gets hit by the Nair instead and loses a stock. Now chasing back up on stage with the pound, but Raza, a good punish, throws up the turn up to try and get oh. that little bit of defense. But HBox, good job of holding forward, driving the combo forward to get out from under that umbrella. Right. And you know HBox won that last hit of up air to get into the rest. Oh, right absolutely. There. Now chasing back onto stage, Razo looking for a few up airs of his own, finding the fair. HBox still alive, but just barely. Razo trying to find the 2-0 here. Chases with the turn up, now gets back onto the stage with the bear going to connect, and this is a very, very dangerous spot for HBox to right. find himself in. No, I feel like any of, oh my god, there's dash attack. Uh, I was about to say, no, any of Peach's arrows are probably gonna kill starting at that percent. No, Nair, bear, even 